Good afternoon, Norby. Good afternoon, Ma. Okay, Norby, can you tell me about yourself? I'm Norby Damo, 23 years old. I have two child and married. Come with me. Okay. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Why do you want to work as a maid? I want to work in Malaysia as a maid to finance, to support the finances of my family, to support the education of my child. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because Malaysia is here in the Philippines and it is the same time. How are you qualified for this job? I'm working, honest, and polite. May I know what your education level is? College graduate, ma. What is your recent work experience? BBC, ma. Okay, have you worked abroad before? No. Do you have experience of taking care of baby? Yes, ma. How old is the baby? Zero to ten years old. Okay. How about elderly people? No, ma. But I'm willing to learn. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma. Are you willing to work with the family where the mother-in-law or any relatives stay together? Yes, ma. Currently, are you still working now? No, ma. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma. What sort of food can you cook? Filipino food, ma. How about Chinese food, European food, Indian food, and Malay food? No, ma'am, but I'm willing to learn. Okay. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Ma'am. From all the house chores, like washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking, which do you like most? Cleaning, ma'am, ma'am, Okay. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kids? You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Instead, yep. your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month. You're only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and condition? Yes, ma'am. Are you agree to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understands? Two years ako na, ma'am. Can you describe for me your ethics, your attitude? Hardworking, honest, industrious, and polite. Polite, ma'am. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Norby, ma how can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Because I want to earn money to support my family sources and to prepare the education of my child. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. 
Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergy, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. Have you undergone any operation? No, ma'am. Are you medical fit? Yes, ma'am. Are you in any medication? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? Yes, ma'am. What kind of food? Seafood, ma'am. Okay. Are you preferred to work for the employer of any race? Yes, ma'am. Are you preferred to eat the type of food taken by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? No, ma'am. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any immediate family working in Malaysia? No, ma'am. Okay, Norvi, we have finished our question section. Let's go to case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to answer me truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia within six months, if ever any of your family members passed away, what will you do? I'll continue my work mom after finish my contract. Tell us about yourself and why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? I am hardworking and a polite industry. I will go to Malaysia to earn money for the future of my child. Okay, Norby, what do you want to tell to your employer who are watching your video right now? Mom, please choose me as your worker because I want to earn money for the future of my children and to earn money for the finances of in our family. Okay, thank you very much, Norby. We will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer. Yes, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am.